you know, you guys did a fantastic job using using that Formula One fight week. And I'm sure the plan is the same, to do it the same for Super Bowl week. Unfortunately for the Formula One fight week, Shakur Stevenson didn't live up to his end of the bargain with a spirited, uh, punishing performance. It, it, does that perhaps uh, present some sort of a promotional problem for you when his fights don't live up to his star quality? Well, that always happens. You know, I've been, I've been, I have such a history of uh, boxing promoting superstars, and sometimes for one reason or another, they don't live up to their billing. Now, in Shakur's case, uh, he had ailments because uh, he trained over, I think, over He loves to be in the gym. Uh, he hurt his hand. He hurt his shoulder. And, and our office was constantly taking him to different doctors to patch him up. So I don't think uh, uh, DeSantis is a pretty good fighter, but I don't think uh, we saw the best of, I know we saw, didn't see the best of Shakur. And indeed, the kid called me up uh, the morning after the fight uh, to apologize for his performance. But I quite understand what was happening because for the weeks leading up to the fight, uh, we didn't know if he could even make the fight. Mm -hmm. And, you know, he, the future is very bright for him. 135-pound WBC champion right now. I, I know it, you could stage that fight with Vasily Lomachenko pretty, perhaps overnight and further build up Shakur's star or have Vasily go into one last run into his Hall of Fame career. But I think the fight a lot of fans want to see is Shakur versus Tank Davis or Tiafimo versus Tank Davis or even Lomachenko versus Tank Davis. Well, what can top rank promise in 2024 as to being in business with the likes of a Tank Davis and, and matching up one of your fighters with him? Well, well, Tank Davis is an excellent fighter and he's a big attraction. So sure, we would like to match any of the guys that you've mentioned against Tank Davis uh, and see how well they would do. I like our guys to win the fight, but that's why they do the fights, right? Mm -hmm. uh, so, again, we're open to any of that. And uh, the way it'll probably happen, the way everything is happening, is the Saudis who uh, uh, the guy in charge, His Excellency Turkey Al Al Sheikh, uh, is a big boxing fan and reads all of the stuff that comes out around the world about boxing, including your column. And so when he reads this, he may decide that he wants to do that fight in Saudi after Ramadan and uh, do it this summer, one of those fights. Uh, and cut the checks to the fighters, and that, that that ends any kind of discussion of who gets what percentage. But if, let's say, the Saudis are not interested, and it's you and Mayweather Promotions who has to put this fight together, uh, Team Tank is very adamant that they're the A-side, they're the ones who dictate the terms. H how do you feel about moving forward along those lines? Well... The stuff about A-side and dictating terms, that's total and complete nonsense. I mean, the terms are once you, you settle on the money, because if the fight is not with the Saudis and there's percentages, you work out the percentages, then everything else is easy. Everything else is nonsense. You know, who gets introduced first, who comes in first, I mean, that should be a five-minute discussion. Uh, uh, but again, if we start talking about A-side and B-side, uh, then nothing gets happened, and they just trade insults with each other, and it's just childish. I mean, that's why a lot of fights have, haven't happened in boxing, because people involved in the sport, Sometimes even us have been very, very childish. 
uh, about this, arguing about stuff that really doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. I mean, does anybody care who the hell gets introduced first or second? And what difference does it make? Mm -hmm. But out of the three names I mentioned, Tiafimo, Shakur, and even Lomachenko, if there is one fighter that you could pit against Davis in that super fight, who would that be? All three, I think, would beat Davis. I really believe that. But that's why they do the fights, you know? Uh, you get in the ring and you determine uh, who's better. I think Shakur beats him. I think Tiafimo beats him. And I think Lomachenko beats him. Mm -hmm. Do you think Do you think Gervonta Davis is the real deal? I know a lot of people question the, the level of opponents or at what weight he's been fighting them at or at what terms, but just based off of the performances you've seen, do you think he's the real deal? I think he is the real deal. I mean, that's why we're talking about him. He's a hell of a, a, a performer, a terrific athlete, terrific boxer, but so are the other three guys you mentioned.